Well, um, it's a uh, long weekend. Um, not a long weekend. Because this, right here, on the Pirate Show with the Radio Jermaine. Make sure to subscribe this channel by clicking this link and click on the bell notification. That new video is every Friday for the episodes of the season A of the Party Show Career Train in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Also, I'll be working on commercials every week. So make sure to subscribe and click the bell, click the bell notification so you don't miss those new videos every Friday and highlight commercials every weekly, all season long. Coming up on the Pi Show, and we have a lot of discussion of the Critic Choice Awards, the 75th and Emmys, um, the new reboot of the CW Network, including the new edition of the CW Sports. There's so much to talk about. Also, I forgot to mention on previous season, not season 706, I forgot to pre prevention. No, not prevention. I forgot to, why am I thinking that? The like previous on episode two, the topic and debate of the week. I don't forget because I missed that part because I had a lot of conversations with the Hallmark and the sports update, plus this, 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 auto show updates, the Canadian National Auto Show and the Montreal Auto Show is coming this weekend from January 19 to 28, before the next one on the Canadian National Auto Show after the Montreal Auto Show. All that is coming up right here on this primetime program, courtesy on YouTube, it's the Prime Show with Kobe Edgeman. Starts down. Let's get it, dudes, and hit my music. We were counting on the weekdays. Time with you has a halo. Night to lose and all the taste. All of the taste. Good weekend. Last was a good old week of extreme cold fridges. Welcome to the Pi Show, episode three, right here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, in, in a new era is, is on the line. I'm your host, Kobe Najman, and thanks for tuning in on episode three. And man, oh man, oh man, um, it's going to be a different episode right now. So there's so much list that I wanted to talk about. Um, I want to talk about um, the CW Network, the rebranding of the CW Network. Yeah, they rebranded, they killed the DC Universe close, except the Superman Lords has survived. The, um, the All-American and Homecoming have survived, never got canceled by the CW. The CW is, is saving those shows. Dynasty's gone, Rockstar's gone. Charm is gone. All the television shows on CW cancel and gone. The fall of the War Brothers is, is 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 something turned into a villain or something. But now they finally change. Now James Gunn is a new lead CEO of the DC Universe. Time to turn things around. Yeah, James Curry is willing to turn things around to fix the problem with the Warner Brothers and the DC with the previous of the Aquaman is a final DCEU before restructure of the DC franchise led by James Gunn is going to fix this with the departure of the MCU, the Marvel Cinematic Universe for over decades, he has worked. So with the Guardians of the Galaxy franchise, 
It's come to an end of the DC universe from phase one to phase five. Yeah. And I still love James Gunn and I'm willing to bet in the future if James Gunn can work this to do a better DC future film than the last previous films. Superman vs. Batman, The Daughter Legacy, uh, Black Adam, yeah, Dwayne The Mark Johnson, um, The Flash, yeah, that was even bad, a bad DC Universe film. Aquaman is the last last gas of the, and the lost kingdom is the last gas of the final of the last DCU before James God can take to restart the DCU franchise reboot. Look at Daredevil born again. Okay, um I'm I'm excited not excited that was. So um, let's see. Oh, what are we talking? Oh, the CW network is is rebranded. This network is the new logo. Um, it's kind of go back to the old child. This CW, this logo is it's kind of like an old old childish childish logo or something. Like this is like 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 the CW. Not not the title, the CW, the fresh old soap the fresh and young and teen teen dramas is over. It's going back to the uh, it brought it to new networks like we got the NXT is coming to CW, wild cards that that I watch um, that I'm gonna talk about the wild cards. Wild cards is going to be premiere on right now Wednesdays on the CW and. CBC in January 10th for Canadian viewers. Watch the Wild Cards right now. And then on the US on January 17th, watch it now. Both platforms in the US and Canada, CW and CBC, and sh streaming CBC Jam and the CW app. Make sure. Wild Cards is going to be, it's a cop, it's a, a, a Canadian cop comedy series, like Republic of Doyle, uh, Murdoch Out Ministry, yeah, all kinds of Frankie Drake mystery, um, all kinds of cops, dramas, comedy, com comedy drama cops, like, it's going to be held, the next announcement, um, it's the Law and Order. It's going to be held in Toronto, coming to CTV. That was thanks to the Law and Order on, on NBC. The uh, Law and Order, the original, is coming back. The, the SUV and organized crime. You can thank him for that Law and Order franchise of the television series. Law and Order is coming to Toronto. It's on C. It's on CTV. They bring the roots of Canadian roots of the television shows. Like they import it from the U.S. and, and Canada imports to this Canada. This invested. They, that's why CW Network is bringing the Can Canadian roots. What the shows they 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 make. They film it. They make it in, in Ontario in the province of Ontario for, by filming Wild Cards, uh, Bad Blood, uh, Law and Order. It's going to be held in the Criminal Intent Toronto. Yeah, there are so many, so many shows, including Reacher. Reacher filmed in Lakeview Restaurant that I discussed on the on the fifth season, on the fifth anniversary. That Saturday Pride Time. I'm going to throw that link to that there if you want to see it on the episode at the Lakeview Restaurant. That historic diner in the in the North America. Reacher 
in on Amazon Prime Video. That scene shot it on Lakeview West, shot in downtown Toronto in a historic diner in the North America, right here in down, right here in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. So feel free to watch it. Um, the new CW network kind of. Uh, like people in the comments say they want, they wish they could go back to the old drama, the old fresh teen and up, uplifting this thing in 2006, where uh, the winger, where the gossip girl, where they had roots for the, I gotta say, fresh and Younger, younger, te younger teens and younger adults from 20 to 35 year olds, 20 to 35 year olds. In 2006, this age demographic brings up to a to a new to a to a new era. In 2006, this kind of nostalgic moment. That's what I'm going to say, nostalgic in 2006. This fresh and fun thing. Okay, the CW Network, with the CW Sports, NFL, NXT, lots of shows, Super and Lois is coming back, new series is Wild Cards, and more on the CW. That new logo, yeah, no thanks. Okay, moving on. Um, what else? Oh, the NFL wild card, man. The NFL playoffs in the wild cards, man. Um, the Dallas Cowboys going home. Green Bay Packers defeat the Dallas Cowboys, and Steve A is laughing. For me. I did the same. So, not gonna comment on the Cowboys. I don't care. So, Detroit Lions finally did. After 30 years, win a playoff in a wild card for 30 years. I'm proud to the Detroit Lions to get the job done with the touchdowns, offensive, defense. Good luck on the division round. And, and for those who win the wild card, advancing moving to the division playoffs, good luck and let's hope to get to all the way to Super Bowl in Las Vegas. Okay, um, next, uh, you know, uh, what are we talking? Uh, this Montreal Auto Show um, is going to be held in that that venue on uh, Montreal Auto Show is coming here, not here. It's coming far away from Montreal, Quebec. Um, some of these stars are going to come. Guess. Uh, is going to help, and including the Buick, that I still have a second choice with the Buick. First is Lincoln. Uh, Buick is coming to display on Montreal Auto Show. Yes, um, after that, I'll be going to Canadian National Auto Show at the Montreal Auto Show, and there will be the Buick display. So, those brands are coming back. After the pandemic, with the with the restructure, with the the, the, the General Motors is going to going to reinvest it to electric, the upcoming electric vehicles in in Chevrolet, GMC, Buick, Cadillac, Ford Lens in the near future, ending the gas and diesel by twenty thirty six. And in all gas, waste of gas and diesel for t until 2020, until 2036, not 2020, 2036. 
no more gas. It's going to be full, all out electric vehicle, like electric lyric. Which, by the way, the big truck series got their new car, a new electric vehicle, Cadillac Lyric, and I'm proud of. I'm, I'm happy, man, and I give a big like and give a thumbs up to that man who who worked his who worked his ass off and get and get this a new Cadillac Lyric. Come told. That was a video from Big Truck Series. That happened on in New York in and New Jersey. So feel free to check it out when I throw the link on Big Truck Series Cadillac Lyric on his review. What he what he accomplished, the goals. All of that stories will help Big Truck Series channel. Okay, um the auto show in Montreal, feel free to check it out. In that and take the main photos you like and post it on your social media. What did you like the, the best? The best cars, luxury, anything you like, like Cadillac or like uh, Royal Voice or Lamborghini or the Bugatti, the uh, uh, the Bugatti, yeah, Bugatti, yes. It's, that supercar is so fast. The that that car is one of the most one of the most one of the most breathtaking. This car, this fast car, is going to blow it off your head, heads and minds off. That car is sick. So feel free to check on the. Montreal Auto Show until January 28th before the Canadian National Auto Show is going to take to, Mon to Metro Toronto Convention Center at the Montreal Auto Show. Okay, um, I'm going to put it pause for break and we will see you on the second half is the the 20 the 2024 All-Star Weekend is going to be held in Scorsese Arena, the 75th Grammy Awards, Bright Sun Films, new video for abandoned bankrupt or uh, wild tra travels in Orlando that I saw on the social media post, and the topic and debate of the week. I cannot forget that I did not, did not talk about. So, so all that is that second half on the final show will be at the first month. Are you back? Thanks for watching. Thanks for waiting us in for the second half, because first half, it was a casual workout that I, <laughs> yeah, I had to go to work and do, do some important business in UPS, and then I come right back, and now I've changed back to the old classic dress timeless era, so just like that. Anyways, um, welcome back to the Planet Show with Korea Jermaine on the second half. Um, here we are. Now, I got an update on the, the Hallmarks uh, Love You Angry of next month. It's under two weeks away before it starts February 3rd. Starting Saturday right here on Hallmark Channel and here in Canada on W Network, part of Hallmark. Partnership. So um, here's our entitled movies. Uh, Page Mr. Dorsey is going to be start up, start up first, beginning February 3rd. Um, Mallory Jackson, you know that woman from uh, Agents of Shield. Yeah. And also in the Hallmark Channel, so Pam Pal, 
uh, the 12th day of Christmas, that star is going to be on on the TV movie Paging Mr. Dawson. Um, it's starring Riley Jensen and Will Kemp. Yes, that's why I said it in a previous episode too that I said Will Kemp is going to be in that I just watched on the preview trailer on the Homo channel on YouTube and on the Homo channel and on the television. Okay, first is Fake and Mr. Dossie. Second, uh, Love and Jane, Alice and Sweetie, and Benjamin Ayers. It's going to be next on Saturday, February 10th. Then, Saturday, February 17th, on the third, is An American in Austin, starring Elizabeth Bennett and Nicholas Bishop. Fourth is A Taste of Love, featuring Aaron Cahill and Jesse Golf. That will be on Monday in Valentine's Day. Um, yeah, Monday is not a Valentine's Day. I think February 17th is going to be Valentine's Day where Friday is. Also, by the way, the auto show and Canadian International show auto show um, is under one month away. So hopefully you will wait when I upload the video on a special episode of the 2024 Canadian National Auto Show. So make sure you stay tuned for that uh, next month of February. The part of our Tennessee will be epic entertainment content that you ever see. And finally, um, February 24th, Saturday, is Sense and Sensibility. So I am Deborah. I own mind, Bethany Antonia and Dan Jeanette. So all four movies that has revealed a new new movie title starting on February 3rd is Patrick Mr. Dossi. Mallory Jackson and Welcome is up first. So let's hope the love comes timeless. Like me, by the way, the time was going back to the 1980s and 70s, 60s. All hells to pay tribute to Jay Austin, who invented this love forever to all the people in America, Canada, here in international Africa, Australia, United Kingdom, all of it, and worldwide. So, make sure to set your PBRs. Paging Mr. Darcy, starring Molly Jensen, welcome. Saturday, February 3rd, beginning in the library, paying tribute to Jane Austen, only on our channel and in Canada on W Network. All right, um, this Valentine's Day. It's going to lit up on fire for all painting, painting for tribute to Jane Austen. This love inspired stories that will take your breath away. Okay, next up, um, the, the aims. Uh, yes, the 35th aims. Um, I look at the numbers and with the 4.3 million viewers on Fox, my God. It's the same with Oscars. It's the same Golden Globes. Can can keep up with the good standards, and it's just bad. Not good sign for Fox for Emmys. Not even ABC or CBS is going to be next on Grammys awards for music. Oh no! If the if the Academy screws itself, then the Oscars will be the last because viewers. Are tired of it. Yeah. So the 75th Grammys, um, what a bummer. What a bummer. Right. So, congrats to the winners. And unfortunately, Better Call Saul has never won an Emmys. Wow, that was a big slap in the face with the Emmys on Television Academy. Like, 
Who, who puts up the system on voting machine to vote for their better console is a better television like Breaking Bad or any television series on Sopranos or what? They have one Emmys, like Sopranos, more than better call so What happened? I mean, this era of Golden Age television, that fades away because of stream platform, this kind of thing. Also, um, Anthony Anderson has hopes on the 75th Grand, not Grammys, the Emmys of Television Academy on Fox with the 4.3 million viewers. Uh -huh. That's gotta be a bad television right there. That's a bad right there. Yikes. Another Golden Globes with that second loss. Will they do it again on Grammy Awards on CBS again, like Golden Globes? Will they do it again, like Oscars, on the lowest viewers ever? I hope to God in 2024. That would not happen if they keep up and do something with the voting machine of the academies. What the fans want this passion to win the Oscars, to win the Grammys, to win what what fans already love this thing. They care about. I mean, come on. What's going on with the awards? Is it the uh, the award show? What is going on with the award show? It's coming down into a into a downfall of disaster of the award show. The aftermath of Will Smith slap with Chris Rock that shocked the viewers around the world. Now, with Jimmy Kimmel being a fourth host consecutive, I think, four time of host of, of the Oscars, every time on ABC, every time with the Jimmy Kimmel. I don't know what's happening in the world. <sighs> By the way, on the one one note, Christiana Grey gets the semi ovation with the good joke. With the surprise you presented. And that is a good job right there. So, yeah. Um, uh, once again, congrats to the Emmys and the Critic Choice Awards. That song is a winner. I'm just Ken, Ryan Gosling, man. <laughs> that face, wow. It means, huh? I'm just Ken? It set the God off. It set God off. Yeah. Oh, by the way, it's on TNT. The yeah, Credit Choice Awards on TNT. So, I haven't been watching the Credit Choice Awards. So, Emmy said Credit Choice Awards. Congrats to both the winners and man, the viewers in a competitive award show like the Junos, like the, the Grammys, the Oscars, things in the world of the television awards is about to change into a different direction. I mean, what's going on? Anyways, uh, moving on to the awards show fiasco, this kind of mess, what's been happening. Um, 
who else? Um, the Buy Some Films, yes, Buy Some Films. Um, make sure to check out the new video, Abandoned, Bankrupt, or Buy Some Travelers new video. Feel free, it's on the link in the description that I'm about to fill the video. So um, it's, it's a travel of Orlando trip that Jake Williams is in his trip. And I'm about to check that video out. Feel free to watch it. Um, last but not least is the Wild Cards is held on CBC and CW. That clip, I'm about to throw you in with the video of that clip of the episode one in a new series of season one, The Wild Cards, which began right now and right now on the CW. So here's a clip with 30 seconds or even 60 seconds. So here's a clip from Wild Cards on CBC. You two need to give me something now, or I'll just have to verify every single piece in here. We'll have to shut you down, of course, but uh, shouldn't take more than a month or two, three. Okay, 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 you don't need to play bad cop. I can give you a list of names. There aren't many people who would be in the market for items like this, but if anyone finds out I gave you names, I'm a dead man, so at least make an attempt to play the good cop. Max. Yeah, we're good. Thanks, guys. Nice to see ya. Don't come back. Nice to see you, Max. Damn, that was amazing. We're like Bones and that dude from Buffy, Castle, and that hot girl. A star is born, except you're Lady Gaga, and I'm Riley Cooper. Mm -hmm. So what next? I guess we start running down this list of names. What are you doing? These aren't real buyers. I could tell he was lying. Huh. Great. So we're back at square one, then? How about let's grab a drink at a seedy dive bar you're a regular at, talk about the case, get into a bar fight. No, I'm taking you home. we will start first thing tomorrow morning, OK? Oh, and you are not to go anywhere. You want some food, you order in. You want some fresh air, you open a window. Got it? Got it. Locked it. Threw away the key. <sighs> Where do you live again? I hope it's not far. That right there, Vanessa Morgan from Riverdale, and yeah. You know the clue of <laughs> that? Yes. Um, feel free to check it out on Wild Cards, on CBC, and on the CW, on the US side of In Your Satellite Networks with your cable provider, DirecTV, Xfinity, and other cable provider. Remember, find the CW networks in your local station area. So, I guess, oh, there's one more thing before I'm about to end the show. It is the time for topic and debate at this time during the night. So, here it is. The topic and the debate of the week is Buick Invista. Buick Invista is an SUV, is a new entry level of the Buick Invista. This SUV car will be held in the auto show, Montreal and the Canadian National Auto Show. That car, oh, I really, really, Really excited to see on the display in the auto show. That car has a big display and the, the steering wheel has changed. The new logo has changed. This kind of thing, I give a plot to the Detroit, Michigan and General Motors for the Buick Invista, that SUV car, the next level of bringing the SUV and sedans back together they're still working on with the sedans in China. Yeah, they build making sedans in China after they finally finish with the sedans and focusing switching on SUV, just like Lincoln Motor Company and Ford. 
us, our Calgary GMC and Chevrolet does. Yes, um, I'm really excited to to see this as a new Buick Vista at the auto show, and the interior and exterior. It feels very, very well deserved, gorgeous. This kind of beautiful design. I mean, the horsepower it drives take takes to the new heights of the city. The EcoTech and the turbocharged V6 or 8. It feels it feels this luxury standard. And man, 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 I, I cannot wait to test drive this Buick Vista that I just can appreciate. Like this car has has more attract to the younger consumers, like age of. 19 to 25, 19 to 25 year olds, boys and girls who have loved, who have got the attention with this interest of Buick and Vista is the first level of the Buick lineup of SUV models. The Encore GS, the Envision, Enclave, Bang. There you have it. With your four Buick lineups. And once I reach the dealership, I'll have a conversation about this car. And through the dealership, onto the auto show, maybe one of my friends who can recognize me including Lincoln, who can recognize me what I did on the show five or six times with this show on the special episodes that I ever did for seven years in Ontario. One of my friends will recognize me. Believe me that. So I'm very excited for the Buick Vista. And I'll be looking forward on to Canadian National Auto Show after our auto show in Montreal ends on January 28th. After you see and post it on the social media, I'll be answered. Okay, now that's the topic and debate of the week of this January. 19 of 2024, Friday, January 19, 2024, through January 15 to 19, to 19 to 2024 of this topic and debate of the week. Okay, gentlemen and ladies, and that's all for the show. And follow me, use the hashtag on the Pi Show, and remember Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, that you will. Never miss from posts every week, all season long. I'm your anchor host, Corbina Jermaine, and, and have a great night and great weekend. And I'll see you episode four next Friday on the season eight of the Prime Show, courtesy on YouTube channel. Very well, good day, good night for Brampton. Now, I gotta change the channel, and then I'm gonna put up the volume once. Yeah, now, excuse me, allowing the watch after midnight is see, is rebranded and reboot is held on CBS after Colbert. The late show with Stephen Colbert. Taylor Thompson is a new host of the After Midnight, inspired at Midnight on Comedy Central, followed by Colbert Report.
So if I try it again, now if you excuse me, being I, I go watch and I have my piece my own. So bye.